Guys, I am so excited to share this amazing brow transformation with you. This is a picture of what her brows look like before I get started. Did I look? Uh, oh, is this recording? This is Savannah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> look at her brows, y'all. They're so beautiful. She's about to get brow sculpting. Mm -hmm. We're going to get her all the way together. Let's do it. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, now it's time for the client to get relaxed and get ready to have her eyebrows done. I start out by cleansing the area really well. Then after I cleanse, I will protect their skin um, with a tea tree oil to get ready for the waxing, which is what I'm doing now. The wax I use is really gentle it's actually a hard wax, so I do not use the, the strips at all. It's, it's very good for the skin. Um, you lessen the chance greatly of lifting skin or even really causing irritation on the skin while using a hard wax. As you can see, my client is really relaxed and um, she's not flinching at all. Uh, most of my clients say that they can't even believe um, how gentle the wax is and that it doesn't hurt. Okay, so now I'm gonna finish up the waxing and I always cleanse the area, just a quick little cleanse after and then I start the tweezing. Um, I really go for a super, super clean brow line. So I will spend a nice amount of time on tweezing and really get every little fine hair that's out of place because I want the end result to be super, super clean. So I'm just gonna finish up the tweezing. And sometimes, you know, I'll do I'll go through where, you know, that is my actual step of doing the tweezing, but I never rule out coming back at, at the end and um, doing a little bit more tweezing. But after I torture my clients with the tweezing, I always like to give a really nice brow massage. I spend about a minute, a minute and a half and just get them relaxed. Um, I use a nice little ointment um, to help the skin to recover from the waxing and the tweezing. Just help my clients really relax before going to the next step. Which as you can see again, I'm cleansing the skin and now is when we get to the good part. Here I'm going to mix up the semi-permanent textured paint, which is amazing. Um, I love it, my clients love it because this is a mix that it replaces makeup. So when you apply it to the skin, um, it basically adheres to it and it can typically last anywhere from one to three weeks on the skin. As you can see here, I'm like a little mad scientist mixing up the concoction. This is part of a, a class um, that I teach. I have an online training um, where I do teach this um, specific procedure. So now I'm going to start the application process. Oh, I've just decided to do a little bit more trimming. Like I said, I'll come back and tweeze and trim kind of throughout as I see different things that I need to remove. But now I'm using my applicator pen, which you can see it's, it's really small. Um, I really like it because it allows me to create a very natural brow. This is not a tint, you know, that you would apply that actually stains the skin. This is a literal textured paint and I'm applying it stroke by stroke. And you'll see as you watch, you'll be able to see little by little as the brow builds and is getting filled in. I absolutely love this technique. It is still my favorite brow technique to offer and my clients love it too because they get to wake up with eyebrows and not worry about if they accidentally touch their eyebrows or if they accidentally scratch, you know, it's not going to come off. So I'm going to continue to work on this brow. 
Yes, you can really see how it's starting to, to fill in. And look at it compared to the other brow. That's where you can really, really see the difference. Can you see the difference in the brow so far? If you can, please comment below and put yes. The brow sculpting technique is, is an amazing way to introduce your skills to your clients, especially if you offer permanent brow services, such as microblading or ombre brows. Um, I actually use this as a pre-service so that my clients can kind of get comfortable with me and see ahead of time how I will shape their brow. They're able to wear it home, you know, wear it for a week or two, get used to it, um, have their family, their friends, all of that, see their shapes before they do something permanent. This makes them more comfortable and it makes you more comfortable because, I mean, let's face it, getting a permanent makeup eyebrow is, it can be intense, you know? So why not start them with something that is not permanent and build their confidence in you? That way when they come back, they know what to expect and it's not nearly as much of a shock and um, it really works out. It works out for you as the service provider and it also works out for your client. So if you're interested in learning more about this technique, um, check the description below. I will have my contact information down there and I also have other videos on my page that show this process which I will link below. Okay, so now I'm just putting some finishing touches on the brow. They look so beautiful. This is my favorite part right here. So now I'm gonna get into the highlight. I use my Slay by Nikki J concealer pot and uh, we have a flat brush also that we use. And adding this final step really makes the brow pop as you will see. Look at these beautiful brows. If you think they're beautiful, will you type beautiful in the comments for me? She has such an amazing smile. She loves, loves, loves getting her eyebrows done. As you will see here in a minute, she's super excited, super pumped. Don't you want your clients to experience this feeling? They are water resistant, they're smudge proof, and they last anywhere from one to three weeks. It's different for everybody, depending on their skin, depending on how well they take care of them, but they absolutely love the end result. Look at this. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. This is what we do here. Slay by Nikki J. Y'all better come get you some. Come and get it, y'all. Come get you some. Mm. 